Hello there, my name is Avery and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you three skills that I wish I learned earlier. Also, stick to the end of the video to learn how you can learn these skills as well. With that out of the way, let's dive right in. The first skill on the list is touch typing. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but Avery, didn't you learn how to type when you were in elementary school? And to that I say, well, yes, but actually no. I remember in elementary school, the teachers made us use a program called All the Right Type to practice our typing. But me being the naive seven-year-old that I was, I continued to type with just my index fingers. <laughs> this persisted for some time until I received my first laptop when I was 14. That was really the aha moment when I realized I needed to learn how to type properly or else writing papers for high school or university would be a pain in the ass. A couple months and a couple dozen hours of typing practice later, I was finally able to type without looking down at the keyboard every two seconds. My typing speed also increased to around 60 words per minute, which granted, it's not that fast, but for me, it was a huge accomplishment. Today, touch typing has saved me so much time. It allowed me to keep up with the insane pace that my programming teachers typed at, and I'm also able to type essays and the scripts for these videos quite quickly. Overall, touch typing is a skill that is greatly overlooked now because of the rise in tablets in schools, but it's a skill that I really wish I developed a lot earlier. Second on the list, we have file management. School computers are actually quite complicated in their file managed systems, especially for five to seven year olds. This made everything quite hard to find for many students, including myself. This frustration of misplacing certain files when I needed them most drove me to another aha moment that I needed to learn how to properly manage my digital files so that I don't scramble for something when I need it most. Today, I have my own file management system that allows simplicity between personal and schoolwork. For example, let's take a look at how I organize the files on my Mac. In this home page, there are a lot of general categories for different types of files, like documents, downloads, pictures, etc. Heading into my documents folder, I have two folders inside of it. One for education slash schoolwork, and the other for more miscellaneous items. In the education schoolwork folder, you can see that I have folders for a variety of files. In my grade 11 work folder, I have folders for the courses that I'm taking, and for items that are related to this year's work. That is just one example of how I organize my files. But the key takeaway is that since everything is where it belongs, I know where to find anything and nothing ever gets lost. Today, I couldn't imagine my life without a good file management system, especially with all the online work that we've had to do. It's a skill that will be important for many years to come as technology advances. Last but certainly not least is video editing. I know, I know. This skill is a little far-fetched because what is the use of this skill unless you're running a YouTube channel? But believe me, it's way more useful than you may think. My first experience with video editing was for a French project in grade nine where we had to make a music video to a French song. I had literally no idea what the heck I was doing, but it turned out okay. But this was one instance where I really wish I knew more about video editing. Fast forward to very recently where I had to use video editing again for school. Our band wanted to do a recording of one of our pieces of music that we were working on as a memento for this crazy year. So we hired an AV guy to do the recording, both audio and video, but he couldn't come um, because of school contracts, blah, blah, blah. 
So instead, I volunteered to shoot and edit the video for the audio recording. And I thought the video turned out really nice, especially for something that was done in under a week. I will leave a link to that video down in the description. Anyway, the point of all that was to say that you will never know when video editing will come in clutch. You may want to make a thank you video for one of your favorite teachers, or you may have a video that you have to plan, shoot, and edit in less than a week for dozens of people to see. In the end, video editing is a skill that I really wish I learned so much earlier, but I'm really glad that I have a good grasp at it right now. All right, now to the part that you may have skipped the first half of the video for. How do I learn these skills? Let's start with touch typing. The website that I recommend for beginners who are still typing with their index fingers to intermediates wanting to refine their typing is typing.com. Typing.com was the website that I used to learn touch typing and it has been super helpful. It starts off with beginner lessons which teach you which fingers hit which keys and teach you to build good habits. The intermediate lessons after those start constructing words and using punctuation to make short sentences. The advanced lessons focus on building your skills and accuracy along with introducing you to numbers and advanced symbols. Typing.com also gives you a plethora of activities to practice your typing. There are games, choose your path stories that you type out, and typing tests. Typing.com will also tell you what your problem keys are and give you a test to work on them. For a person who genuinely used this website, I can confidently say that typing.com is a great place to learn to type. Okay, so file management on the other hand is a bit different to learn. It's not as structured of a learning process as learning how to type. That being said, since everyone is different, I'm going to try and give some general advice for file management. First, think big and narrow it down. Your main folders should encompass a lot of different categories so that you can organize everything into them. Second, find relations. Always try to group files that are related in some way together into a folder and then name that folder with the name of that relation. This makes everything really easy to find because with file management, the goal is to be as specific as possible. Third, Prioritize. Everyone has files and folders that are more important or used more often than others. For efficiency's sake, keep these files and folders as accessible as possible. You can do this by either pinning a frequently accessed folder to the sidebar or placing the file so that less clicks are needed to access it. I do recognize that this advice may not apply to everyone. So if you have a specific question about your needs, please drop it in the comments down below. All right, so unlike some of the other skills that I've learned, video editing was all self-taught for me. I basically loaded up iMovie one day, imported footage and started editing with no idea what the hell I was doing. That being said, I have some tips for you to learn how to edit videos. First, use what you have. If you're just starting out, please don't go out and pay over $200 for Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. Use apps that are free and easily accessible for you. Heck, I still use iMovie to edit the videos that you're watching right now. Two, learn how you want to learn. If you're the rebellious, I have nothing to lose type person, consider teaching yourself. You may actually learn a lot more than you would in a guide. This is a good option if you're planning on making multiple videos on a consistent basis. But since most of you are just making the occasional video, I would definitely recommend watching or reading a short tutorial. I have to mention this again, everyone is different. So experiment with things and eventually you'll find a learning style that suits you. But in the end, was it worth spending dozens of hours learning these skills? My answer, 100% yes. These skills were actually the building blocks for starting my YouTube channel today. I really hope the info in this video helps you in some way. Also a quick PSA, 
Videos are going to be a bit scarce over the next two to three months. I have two very demanding courses for this last quarter of the year and then summer school right after that. But I'm going to try and create as much content as possible for y'all. As always, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, have a great day. Peace out.